Alabama's newest sports show called Game Day TV is going to be hosted by Alabaster's very own Jerry Young and his partner Max Howell. And we can't wait to tell you guys all about it. Guys, I know when I said your name, several people automatically knew exactly who y'all were. But for those who don't, tell us a little bit about your sports background and your sports broadcasting background. You want me to start here? Go ahead. <laughs> okay. About 30 years on the field, first of all, coaching. I was very fortunate. I, I was involved in three coaching staffs. I had the number one high school team in America with Emmett Smith and 19 other uh, Division One players. Was I went from there to Florida State, where we're number one in the country. Uh, I had Deion Sanders, Leroy Butler, and about eight first round draft picks on that team. In, in the, about 10 years before that, I coached the national championship down at Troy. So I've been fortunate in my I was a career assistant football coach, and uh, but I had the, one of the greatest careers ever, and we could spend hours telling stories about that. Yeah. And then, of course, you know, people want to know, well, how did you end up doing this kind of thing? I spent 30 years on that and I felt kind of a little burned out after a while, so I decided I'd get in the radio business. So I go to Atlanta, Georgia, cre helped create the first sports talk show in Atlanta, Georgia, 680 The Fan. And then we created the first regional sports talk show, the conference call, had about 123 stations across the southeast. Well, what about you, Jerry? Well, I started uh, my career about 35 years ago doing high school and uh, even though I've had opportunities to move up to college and all that, I always thought my passion was at the high school level. So. I Basically, I broadcast for the NFHS Network, which is the National Federation of High School Sports Network. We broadcast the games in Alabama, whether it's uh, football, basketball, baseball, all the sports that the Alabama High School Athletic Association offers and has uh, state championships in, they hire me to call those state championships. So I'm all over the state every day, in and out of uh, principal's offices and athletic director's offices and, of course, the head coaches in every sport. So. Got a pretty good background, good relationship around the state, so that's why Max and I think with this, uh, well, we don't think we know, with this game day TV show, then, uh, you know, we got the perfect marriage in Alabama for high school and, and college. Tell us how the game day, Ask Game Day is going to work, the format, how it's going to play out. Right. Well, actually, the name of our Facebook is Ask Game Day, and so that's where you'll go and interact with us. We'll have our our iPad sitting up on the set, so you can ask questions while we're doing the show. Uh, and and then the name of our show is actually Game Day TV. So our Facebook and Twitter and all of our social, uh, we put the word ask in front of it because obviously if you hit Game Day, you're going to get 40,000 things that say Game Day. So we put ask in front of it. That's how you reach us. If you want to watch the show, you can like our Facebook page and just hit the like, uh, just hit the uh, link there on our Facebook page. All right, that's great. And it'll be aired on Cable Network? Well, yeah, it's going to be aired on, on the Alabama Cable Network on Charter Spectrum. So if you have Charter Spectrum, you can watch it there on Channel 80. But there's also three other TV stations as of today that are independent TV stations. One covers Central Alabama, one covers North Alabama, and the other one covers North Mississippi. So why the Mississippi station wants to carry us, I have no idea because I'm only talking high school in Alabama. Now Max may give you, of course, he used to work at Ole Miss for several years, so he's got a little insight there with Ole Miss, especially right now with what's been going on over there. I try not to talk too much about it. Yeah. Well, Max, tell us, do you have any predictions for the for the? Well, uh, yeah, I, how are you not going to pick Alabama? I mean, let's yeah. you know be realistic about it. Coach Saban's done such a remarkable job, and I saw some uh, comments the other day about overrated coaches they had him on there, I almost threw my phone in the garbage. Yeah. I said, whoever wrote that knows nothing about the game itself. But I think Alabama right now, and I think Auburn's going to have a really good run at it. And, and LSU is always a dark horse involved. So I think those three, one of the three, and every, I think whichever one emerges as the leader of the West, it'll be how they played against each other at that particular time. Go over to the East, you know, I've never been a, sometimes you, when you're involved in a, in an industry so long you kind of pick out the flaws quickly. I never was a Tennessee fan. I was, I had some empathy for them the way they went through two or three coaches prior to Coach Jones getting there. But they've just not lived up to the hype. So I don't have Tennessee involved in the, in the right now. I think it's going to be Georgia and Florida. And until Georgia can correct some of the mistakes they made last year. I know Kirby Smart goes there, first year coach, always problems in communication. Great talent level, got a great quarterback, two of the best running backs in the league, but his offensive front's a little slow. Other than that, I'm going to take Florida. I think it's going to be Alabama and Florida one more time. 
Uh, Jim McElwain was a disciple of Nick Saban. He, he's learned to put together, and he's got a transfer quarterback from Notre Dame now, so I think that's going to be the difference in what Florida does in the East. I'm taking Florida and Alabama, and Alabama wins it. Alabama plays FSU again the second time for the national championship, and guess what? They win the second time. Okay. Well, tell me what about high school football? Well, that's some good stuff. Well, obviously, you know, just like Alabama is in Alabama, Hoover is in Alabama as well. But I'm going to tell you what, I've known uh, uh, all the high school coaches. My my biggest hope in being living in Alabaster, okay, you know, and you got to be prejudiced somewhere, so I'm just going to tell you, you know. But Thompson's going to be good. They're ranked number three in the state preseason. Uh, don't be surprised at all if the Hoover-Thompson game doesn't come down to C. And, and uh, the brackets, how they work out, whether they'll play at, at uh, Bryant-Denny this year, which is where the Super 7 will be. Um, I don't know, but I always say this, the road to the state championship, it goes straight through Hoover, Alabama, and it's a four-lane, nicely paved highway. <laughs> so you've got to be ready to, to stand up and play against the big boys. Spain Park's going to be good this year, uh, but I'm really, you know, we say, I don't know that Dark Horse, and I don't know that Mark Freeman would ever be somebody you would overlook because his reputation in the state is second to none. So. The fact that Mark Freeman, then you got the new quarterback kid that came in, and I can't even pronounce his name, but you know who I'm talking about. Kid from Hawaii. Yeah, yeah. kid from Hawaii. Um, you know, adds a whole new dimension to the offense. And then his uh, his coaching staff. I mean, uh, Tim Castile. You know, you got Tim Castile on your coaching staff, and, and he's got some really good coaches around him. Mark Freeman knows how to build a winning program. And Alabaster uh, area, especially with Thompson, let's face it, last few years they've suffered. And I've known all the coaches there, and I, there's some of them that's not there anymore that I love to death. But Mark Freeman's the guy. And Thompson, you know, I, I'm not predicting, especially when it comes to high school, but there's some of your big names. That's great. And you're going to get a chance to interview them, and you're going to talk Thompson football? Yeah, right? I think, I think uh, Phillip's got me doing a few games over there to – do this for yeah. uh, for for this uh, uh, for y'all, but anyway, yeah, I'll be I, you know I'll be traveling the state, and so that's one of my things. But obviously, if I don't have to pay for the gas to go down to Mobile, and I go <laughs> right here to Thompson, you know, that's what I'm going to do. But we'll cover Pelham and and Helena and Calera, and you know Andrew Zal down at at Calera is a good friend, and and he's got a good program too. And in that uh, 5A classification. Look out. So there's going to be some new players this year in yeah. the state that you it's haven't exciting. seen. Prattville's down, has been. They're down again this year. We were there yesterday. We visited with Prattville. I'm going to tell you, they're, they're struggling. So in high school, you know, sometimes teams rise to the top, and, and uh, this is going to be a little bit different other than the fact that Hoover is a definite constant. That's wonderful. We, we're excited about college football, about high school football, and we're really excited to see how it all plays out on y'all's new show. And for you guys, during the month, we're also going to have the Thompson highlights from them right here on Alabaster Living, and we can't wait to just join you guys and team up and, and see what all you're going to do this year on Game Day TV.